Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can do distance calculations with Ultralytics Yolo V8. So we're basically going to spin up a model. We're going to do object tracking as well with a Yolo V8 model. Then we can track objects around in the frame and also in the videos. And then we can choose which object we want to calculate the distance between. So if we just go inside Ultralytics documentation, we go inside the guides. Then we have a bunch of different guides that you can go over over here to the left. We also have real world projects which we're going to cover in this video. We also have all these other real world projects that you can take a look at. There's code snippets and examples for all of them. Let's go inside this distance calculation here and see how we can actually like work with it, how we can spin it up and also see the code example. So what is actually like distance calculations? We just want to calculate the distance between two detections that we have in our image. So we basically just want to measure the gap between two objects that we have detected. And here we can see that the bounding box centroid is employed to calculate the distance for bounding boxes highlighted by the user. So Autolytics were actually like taking the center of the bounding boxes for two detections and calculating the distance between those two in pixels. And then we can actually convert that, roughly convert it and estimate it in absolute value. So that will be in meters, centimeters and so on. You can do the conversions yourself, do some setups, have some references and so on. So what are the advantages of, of distance calculations? We have this localization precision. It enhances the accurate spatial positioning in computer vision tasks. So there's a lot of different computer vision tasks where we actually want to measure distance between different objects. We can also do size estimation of objects depending on the size and also the distances between them. And we can also use it for understanding our scenes. So this is actually like just 3D understanding of our environment instead of 2D understanding with just standard object detection. So here with our distance calculation, we can just click on any two bounding boxes and it will measure the gap and do the distance calculation between those two detections. And if we right click, it will basically just lead all the points that we have chosen or like the two points for our bounding boxes. And then we can start over and calculate the distance between two new objects. So here we can see the code example for the video stream. It is basically just going to open up a video file, read in the video file, do object tracking with Autolytics on top of it. And then we can do the measurement with this distance calculation dot distance calculation. So we're going to create an instance of this class we set up the names and also if we want to visualize the image here we can see that if we right click with the mouse we're going to delete all the drawn points and if we left click we're actually going to choose the points to draw here we can see some optional arguments arguments here for our tracking but let's now just jump into it and see how it works and also see the results so I basically just created a new Python script and copy pasted the code snippet from the Ultralytics documentation directly inside that script. Now we can run it. First of all, we need to specify the video. So right now we have these people walking around. So we have this video here that we're going to throw through it. We're going to do object tracking on top of these people. We're going to choose the distances that we want to calculate um, for the different persons walking around. So let's go back here again and actually specify the path to this video. So we have people underscore walking now we have everything this is the only thing that you need to change you can also choose the model that you want to use if you want to use a small nano medium model and so on i'm going to run this on a gpu so let's just go with the medium model let's directly open up our terminal here run the program and see the results so it's distance underscore calculation dot pi let's run it and see the results so it's going to open up the video stream here. It's going to do the object tracking on top of it. And here with the mouse, I'm going to choose the point where we want to do the distance calculations. So here I'm doing the calculations between these two persons. I can also delete it with the right click and choose two new people. And then we can see the distance and the metrics up here at the top. So here we can see the measurements in meters and also in millimeters here. Again, these are based on pixels. So you can't really rely 100% on it. It's just estimates and you can like set up other references as well. But this can be used in a lot of different situations. And again, these, if, even though if you just have relative values between the different objects, it is still very useful in a lot of computer vision applications and projects. Definitely test it out on yourself. Go in, take the code snippet, throw it into a Python script, test it out on your own videos and try to see if you can do distance calculations with Ultralytics and Yolo V8. Also remember to hit the subscribe button under here, follow the Ultralytics YouTube channel. And then I'll just see you in the next video, guys. Until then, happy learning.